good morning guys happy sunday i've literally just woken up i'm not gonna lie but i thought i would vlog um, for you guys today if i'm honest it was meant to be like a primark homework haul going up but i just didn't have enough stuff so i thought i could just like include it in the vlog instead but it is sunday we've got nothing planned other than going to go to a food shop um so i thought i'd bring you guys along with us on that we're going to tesco today because we don't actually need that much. I've actually got Ami and Arlo this week, which I'm so excited about because it's half term this week. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do a lot of different things with Ami, like filming and stuff, where we need to go out and get food and things like that. So we don't need too much from the shops. So yeah, but I'll bring you guys along with me anyway. Um yeah you guys can just see what i get up to i don't like this camera angle that's better that's better um, i'm just gonna get ready makeup i can show you guys what i'm using my makeup doesn't ever change but i normally use either this or this um this lasts a lot longer as it's a little bit well it is a lot more full coverage but this is nice for just like a few hours of makeup so i think i'm gonna put this on my bronzer of course my lovely bar of soap for my brows I do actually now draw on my brows before. Where's my brow pencil gone? Using the Benefit brow pencil, which is not gonna lie, a little bit overpriced. Um, I got a new eyelash colour the other day. I watched one of Molly May's vlogs and she was talking about it. Tweezer Man. Oh my god, it's so much better than my like six year old Primark one I had. So I use that. I'm not really going in a routine here, am I? concealer i use this to outline my brows i got it from super Drug. i think it's revolution it's like a concealer stick just to carve out your brows it's so good and then of course my trusty huda beauty anniversary lipstick and i use little mac for my eyes which i also just use bronzer this was from a glossy box it is what clout powder kiss so soft matte eyeshadow and i use that for my eyes and i think that Oh, mascara. I got this one for Christmas. It's the Charlotte Tilbury um, push-up lashes. I really want to get the Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury, what is it? The flawless, it's like the foundation is what I want to get. I want to give it a go. It's my birthday soon, so maybe I'll pop it on the list. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm going to go ahead and get ready. And then I will speak to you guys when I'm looking a little bit more presentable. <laughs> Here's my little OTD. Um... Her is getting slipped back though because it's not really greasy but it definitely just needs a wash so I'm just going to put it back in a low burn. Also I can't be bothered to put any heat on it and curl it, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to attempt to slick it back in a low burn. I'm going to use some of this as well just to keep the little wispy bits away. Massive, massive egghead, but it will do. It's better than it being down. Low OTD. Top is... Is it Topshop ASOS or is it proper old school Topshop? I'm not too sure. But either way, it was once upon a time from Topshop. And then my car goes, I just from... I saw it first. So yeah, that is my little low OTD. Good look at this. Can I go out? Look like an egg. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to walk a coat on. It's really nice because where I haven't done hauls, like, on my route for quite a long time, I've got all my coats here. So it's so much easier to always find a coat. So I think I'm just going to walk on this one. Which is from Sheen. I think. Yeah, it's from Sheen. That works. A little ITD for you. Like I say, I've got some Primark items if I want to show you guys, but I am going to go ahead and go food shopping first, just so it's done and out of the way. 
And then when I get back home, I will sit and kind of just show you guys what I picked up. I cannot look at myself in the viewfinder because I look like a big egg. Here is Dan. He's never in my videos anymore. Hi. Oh, my oh, face. Difference. Um, oh, those blended oats you've got with it is perfect. They'll be alright, they just dry out, aren't they? Mm. Don't ask. Thought I wanted a smoothie not long ago, but I didn't. So there's just some blended oats in the bottom of here. I reckon the banana's gonna be. Brown. But brown! I did stick them in the fridge. Oh my god. Nasty. Oh god, nasty. Oh shit. Why are you that one? Grey. Grey? Yeah. Oh no, can't have one then. Uh, what else did you put in it? I think you meant to put fruit in them, aren't you? Suppose you can't just have milk and oats. Oh, I'll we'll save these oats for another day. So what, you can have nothing? I might make myself a nice coffee instead. <laughs> <laughs> the healthy alternative. Yes. Where is the Starbucks cup? Oh, I think I know where it is actually. Or do I make myself a hot coffee? I'm gonna have a hot coffee. myself a coffee it's actually really really hot and we're gonna take on Tesco's worst time ever to go to Tesco's on a Sunday morning but we move oh yeah so my purse uh, my purse is um uh, <laughs> it's either in the bag oh, I feel really cool baggy clothes are just they just hit differently, don't they? What's our total? These are so sick. It makes your life so much easier. It's the one thing I do like about Tesco's. Here it all is. Right, this is the old time. It does feel like we should be filming a mukbang right it does. now. does. This is where we always used to film um, our mukbangs back in the day. With our Ooh, McDonald's. Greg's mukbang would be great. Just <laughs> yeah, we've just been to Greg's. Lol. Um, and now they do a pizza box with like six slices of pizza in, pie and mash and gravy. I'm actually like, pie and mash <laughs> is banging. And what was it, a jacket potato? But the jacket potatoes are served after 4pm, which I don't quite understand. Why I, are they I served? think we should come and do a pie and mash mukbang. A Greg's, Greg's mukbang. Who wants to see a Greg's pie and mash? I reckon it's well nice. Like a massive steak bake, mash and gravy. No, it was like a proper pie. Yeah, yeah, it'd just be a massive steak bake. So, can I have some more sand, please? No, I'm the type of person that literally goes and spends almost 60 quid on a food shop but then goes and gets a Greg straight after. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, well. I've got a sausage roll. Mm, mm. Look at that. Is it hot? Golden. Um, no. no. <laughs> Lukewarm. That's okay. And Dan got a flat white. I did. Try and wake me up. Are you really that tired? I think it's brain eh? Dan just got an exam coming up. I feel like I always try that in my vlogs, but it's because I always have an exam. You always have an exam. It's my life. We've only got four more. Work, revise, sleep, cry, repeat. This time next year, you'll be a free man. We'll this is actually banging. Is it good? Mm. Here is our feed shop. We got so much. How much was the total again? 50? 59 quid. How much? 59 squid. So 60 quid. And we've done all right, to be fair. Um, we've got stir fry things for in the week. Pizza for in the week. We've got some of these for Arlo. Because we've got Arlo and Abby around this week. Veg, fruit. I like himself. This was quite good. This was two pounds. And you get pilau rice, Bombay potato, onion bhaji, and chicken tikka, curry. And that was two pounds. I'm going to Nando's with Ami tomorrow, so Dan's got that for him. Little pizza for Arlo, garlic bread, stir fry sauce, pies for tonight, cocktail sausages, 
far like again um wraps crisps more broccoli we're gonna try this we love our curry so we've got this for like, saturday i think we're gonna have this gunpowder chili garlic hopefully it'll be nice wraps got some new toothbrushes cheese strings fruits again for arlo dan wanted to try these these are just the best things ever both of these were from my video last week. I loved these when I did the Tesco Club Car video. So they were still on Club Cards. So I picked up more. Some cheese, uh, rice, sweet corn tuna, sausages, yogurts. I want to try these. They've probably been around for ages, but I hadn't seen them before. The chili chicken super noodles. Some more pasta, decaf tea bags, normal tea bags, potatoes, steak for stir fry. And that is everything. I think I just like to switch up the food shops rather than doing like Aldi all the time or like Tesco's all the time like I do like to switch them up I feel like now we've done quite a big Tesco one mm. we'll go back to Aldi for a little bit um but yeah we've got pie and mash tonight which we seem to have every Sunday what we've got to oh I'm going to Nando's tomorrow with Ami I am going to weekly vlog next week as well because of having Ami and Arlo um Tuesday Sausage pasta, Wednesday, burrito. Stir fry. Oh no, stir fry. Now I was going to have pizza. Thursday is burritos. burritos. Friday's pizza. And Saturday we're going to try Curry. this. Actually, I'm going to see what we get in the box. Go for it. I'm excited. But yeah, I'm going to pop all this food to the way now. And then I am going to go give you guys that very tiny Primark home haul that I have got um, upstairs. I am going to take my coat off, but I've just come upstairs to get some washing. Um, I've got some new bedding that I picked up from Primark the other day. So I've washed, I washed that yesterday, but I'm going to wash the bottom sheet now. And then we can have a nice clean bedding tonight. I've got nice fresh clean PJs, brand new clean PJs downstairs as well. So, oh my God, there's just nothing better than brand new spanking clean pyjamas and clean bedding like i cannot wait to get in the shower tonight put on my pjs and then get into crisp fresh new bedding it's a little things in life you know but yeah that is the current situation i show you guys what i got from primark home i also did get a, the bedding and there's a vase downstairs which i will go and show you guys if you want to see it there's honestly not much here, hence why I didn't end up doing a full video, because the video would have been like a minute long. But I got, I saw this, I want to give it a go, uh, crease remover. So I have the, is it the Lenore crease release spray? It is so good, I always use it on our bedding, um, and it works wonders. So I thought I'd give this one a go. It was £2.50, I want to see what it smells like. Mmm. It's okay. It's not bad. The Lenore one is definitely a nicer scent. But I was just in trees, so I picked that up. Had to pick myself up some more microfiber cloths because, oh my god, I use these all the time. They are great. Then got myself this. We had some friends over a few weeks ago, and it was then I realised we didn't have like great stuff to put like nibbles and snacks in so I saw this and it was like what six eight pounds it was um just to put nibbles and snacks in and it kind of fits um with our like plates and bowls quite well to be fair so yeah just for like nibbly bits look at this big boy this is quite pricey this was 12 pounds look at the size of it though I don't know where to put it I think I might go put it in the living room you know because after the disaster of in here, do you know what I'm going to show you guys? If you watched, I think I spoke about it in my last vlog, how I burnt a candle, the soot went up on the wall, and I wiped it off with a wet cloth. Take it from me, don't ever do that because I've ruined the wall, the paint, it, it's a whole new paint job. Um, I wanted to quickly show you it, but it's actually embarrassing. Ta-da, there it is. <laughs> so trying not to burn candles anymore because it's just not worth it so i picked up this i mean wax melts are fine and i'll carry on burning them but just not like pure open candles with like naked flames they did do a smaller one but i just loved 
the look of the big one because the sticks, as you'll see now, are really chunky. I think I'm going to go put this in the living room. I could put it up here, but I think it's going to go in the living room, you know. Like I said, I picked up some bedding as well, and I also picked up a vase, so I will go and show you guys that now. But that is everything, like I say, one, two, three, four, five, six things. It's just not enough for a whole entire haul. Here is the vase that I bought from Primark. It was like six pounds, I think, but it just, look, it just looks really, really nice because it's just like plain, do you know what I mean? And then it draws more attention to the flowers rather than the vase. These tulips are so pretty. They are from m &S. I think I got them from, yeah, m &S. I am by no means one of those organised people. I wish I was that their fridge is just like labelled and organised, but you know what, I'm not, and that's okay. But there is nothing better than a full fridge. <laughs> like, the feeling it gives me is just, oh, I just love a full fridge. And a full cupboard. Like, this is very quite satisfying. I'm gonna actually have some crisps now. I haven't had these in years, so um, I'm gonna have a bag of these and a cup of tea. Also realise I haven't shown you guys the bedding. I don't know how much you care about bedding, but it looks so nice. Let me switch on the lamps. It's so dark today, so dark. Let me pop you here. I got it from Primark. It was quite pricey. I actually think it was like £30. Because I'm used to not getting, I'm not used to not getting single bedding anymore and getting king instead. We have a double bed, but we always get, we've got a king duvet just so it's bigger. But it is. It's like this. I don't know how to describe it. It's so soft though. I looked for this before we got the linen one on H&M, but they only had it in single. So she found this in Primark. I love how empty this room is, which probably sounds really, really weird. When I lived at my parents, and I'm sure you can all relate to this, when you're trying to fit your whole entire life into one room, it just like my room was so cluttered at home so i always said to myself like when i have my own bedroom like in my own house i'm gonna have nothing in there <laughs> i know that's probably really weird to some people but yeah the bedroom's just looking like this and then we do have a nice light which is from made and then we do have a mirror just here as well which is from William Wood mirrors, obviously the walls are all plain, and then we just have all Dan's wardrobes here, which were actually already here when we moved. So I'm not too sure where they're from, um, but they were like the perfect fit, and we are never getting rid of them because they just, there are aesthetics down to a T. So yeah, this room is very plain, and it would be nice to have a telly in here, but there's nowhere for it. If we had the bed there, still we could put a telly on that wall, but... I like the way it is now, you know. But yeah, everything is nice and the house is nice and tidy. Um, I think I'm just going to chill till dinner now. I've done three loads of, well, two loads of washing. I need to put another load on now. Um, cleaned all the house, changed the bed in. So, we've done a food job. It's been a productive Sunday in terms of the house. You guys just probably haven't seen too much. But I'm so excited. I've got Amy coming around uh, Monday night, Tuesday night. So I'm going to get her tomorrow i've actually got sorry i'm rambling it's because i haven't spoke to you guys in so long we have so much to catch up on i have a contact lens appointment tomorrow morning so i just know that like when i go on holiday i'm not gonna want to wear my glasses like i don't love wearing them all the time at the minute and i cannot see without them you guys may have noticed it but i used to be able to film like hauls and stuff without my glasses on literally not even that long ago but now i just like physically cannot see like I, I just can't film a haul without my glasses on so i'm gonna go get some contact lenses well i'm gonna go for like a contact lens trial test thing tomorrow morning then i'm gonna go pick amy up i am weekly vlogging next week just so you guys can see amy and arlo as well um so i am gonna be weekly vlogging and that vlog will be live on sunday i think um and then i will drop amy back off wednesday morning and swap amy for arlo i don't like having them at the same time just because when I don't, because I don't see them that much anymore, I like to put all my attention on one, <laughs> rather than trying to split it between both of them. So then we'll drop Amy off and then pick Arlo up Wednesday morning. And then he's stopping here Wednesday night. And then I drop him off my nan's house on Thursday, because it's half term at the minute um, as well. So I'm honestly so excited to see them both. So yeah, but you guys will see that in a vlog. 
I'm very excited about that. And also, me and Dan are going to Barcelona in March for my birthday. My birthday is March the 18th, so we're going away for my birthday, which I've never been away for my birthday, like on holiday. And we haven't been away since 2019, which I'm sure a lot of people haven't either. So that's so, so, so fun. And then come back from Barcelona a week later, I'm going away for a few nights with my friends who, somewhere in Spain, we both don't really know where, like Malaga kind of place, just for a few nights, just to like chill and get away basically. I told myself this year I'm being spontaneous and I'm living my goddamn life because restrictions are gone. So I'm gonna go and live again, you know what I mean? And I, it's put me in the best mood, like I'm so excited to just like live again this year. So that's that, and that's a reason why I'm getting contact lenses as well, because I'm just not gonna wanna wear my glasses when I wanna, I'm not gonna wanna wear my glasses when I wanna put sunglasses on instead, and I don't wanna have to get like prescription sunglasses. Um, so I just want contact lenses for filming and just everyday life. So I'm kind of like weirdly looking forward to that tomorrow morning. Um, and yeah, so vlogs will be coming, holiday vlogs will be coming as well. I got a lot of fun content planned. And I'm just, I'm just happy. I love vlogging, I have missed it, but I'm gonna stop vlogging for the sake of it. I wanted to put this one out today because I just feel like I haven't picked up the camera and vlogged in a while. Um, but yeah, weekly vlogs aren't gonna be every week anymore just because they were getting so boring. But whenever I'm doing something fun, like for example, this week I've got Ami and Arlo, I will vlog it. And like when I go away, I'll vlog and things like that. But cool, I'm rambling so much, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go and I'll catch up with you guys probably when we're cooking dinner. I'm currently just, I'm currently just cooking dinner for Dan. What? <laughs> Can't if you want, okay. I just chucked all these potatoes and... Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Well, enjoy. I look forward to it. No, 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 no. Can we have peas? Here is our dinner. I feel like I have this every time I vlog, but we do kind of have this every single Sunday. This is our Sunday dinner. It is our cooking Sunday dinner, just because it's a lot easier for two people. Kim for a shower, I'm actually going to wash my hair as well because it could do with a wash. How often do you wash your hair? There's my question for you. I got to a point where I was washing it like every five days, which is really good, like less than twice a week. But now it's twice a week. I used to wash it every other day, but then that became effort and I kind of trained my hair not to be washed every other day. So now I kind of wash it twice a week. Yeah, twice a week. But I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair, put on my new fresh clean PJs, and then we're gonna watch Trigger Point, which is on every Sunday on a ITV at the minute is so good. Me and Dan love our ITV and BBC dramas, so gonna watch that and then I think just have an early night. <sighs> yeah, have an early night. I've got my contact lens appointment in the morning. And I also want to edit, edit this vlog first thing as well, so have a nice early night, but for now I'm gonna wash my hair. Got my fresh PJs on. I'm about to get into this nice, fresh bed, which oh, I can't even tell you guys how excited I am about this. We've just finished watching Trigger Point. The time is currently just gone ten past ten. Ready for an early night. Oh my god, it's just oh, I can't even describe it. I'm hoping you guys can relate. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hop into bed. <laughs> 
and I'm also just going to end this vlog while I'm here. Wow, she's actually ending it on the night time for once. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how long it was. Um, I just wanted to bring you guys along on my day, have a little bit of catch up. Like I said, there's a weekly vlog coming next week as well. So yeah, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon for another video. Goodbye guys.